Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 29th of 2024 is titled NGC 602 Stars versus Pillars from Webb. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image, uh, or actually two images we'll look at. The first main one we're looking at here is from the James Webb Space Telescope. And we are looking at the star forming region known as NGC 602. And in fact, that's the star cluster at the center. So you see that tight grouping of stars toward the center with the gas and dust around it. Well, that is the star cluster that is seen. Now the whole thing imaged here in the by the Webb telescope, then we can compare this to what was taken with the Hubble telescope. And let's go ahead back and forth between them. And you'll see first of all that the Webb telescope brings up much more detail as there's a lot of fainter things around toward the edge and towards the center even toward the central regions. In fact, a lot of objects that are barely visible on Hubble that are very easily visible in the Webb image. Now that's a couple of reasons. Some of the things are that the Webb telescope is primarily looking in the infrared. So very long wavelength visible and infrared light. So it will bring out anything that is primarily in those emitting light in those colors. So you might see objects that are very, very faint here and they get very bright in the web image and that's because they are objects that are emitting a lot of infrared light and in fact there are some that are completely invisible in the Hubble image as well. Now what is happening here well the young cluster of stars that has formed a lot of the stars especially the first ones to form are extremely energetic so they're putting out a lot of energetic light and that is clearing out the area around which they formed. So at one point this would have been filled with gas and dust and would have been a very dark nebula but now this is pushing away and the stars are cleaning out their area. And you note where the stars are forming around it. You can see pillars around this entire nebula and those pillars all point back toward the star cluster. Those are the densest areas and at the tip of each of those a star would be in the process of forming. So as those continue eventually either new stars will form in those areas or the stars will be energetic enough. Those are the stars at the center and they will have eaten away enough material preventing the new star from forming. How well that will work is something that we don't know and we would not know for 100,000 years or so until this process has had time to play out until we've been able to see how far this has actually been able to go and how many new stars actually form. So here we get to see a comparison of those two images, one taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and the other taken by the James Webb Telescope, again looking at the exact same region, but looking sli at slightly different details, slightly different wavelengths, and the extra power because of the larger size of the James Webb Telescope. So that was our picture of the day for October 29th of 2024. It was titled NGC 602 Stars versus Pillars from Webb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Head to Space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.